How do I get pen testing and AppSec clients? This is yet another question that I'm being asked often. And I'm gonna cut straight to the chase. I'm not a big fan of conventional hiring, HR interviews and job tests, unless I'm on the other side, the hiring side. I'm not into freelancing either, such as getting a project here and there without a solid relationship to the people and companies you're working with. I'm more into developing strong, long-lasting business relationships. I'm also an entrepreneur, whereas I build and I fail to build multiple streams of income. Now that you know my approach, let me also tell you how I get clients. Of course, I'm not gonna fully disclose or give you all the details because this is an in-house secret. And I'm not gonna pretend to do so either. The underlying idea is basically really simple. And if you're a smart person, you will fill in the blanks without having me to put all my cards on the table. After all, this is a free online video. It's all about the connections you make and the people you know. Of course, you need to bring some solid technical skills and expertise on the table. So how do you actually connect with the right people? Well, that's not actually the first question you need to ask. The first question is, how do I showcase my skills? And one good answer to that is build a blog and do write-ups. Create a YouTube channel around your skills. Participate in hands-on cybersecurity platforms and rank on their leaderboards. Tweet with added value so that others can benefit. Build a GitHub portfolio with your scripts and put all that onto your resume. Obviously, you need to take off your hoodie and show yourself and your skills. This is not 2007 anymore. And this dispels the myth of the unknown hacker from the basement, which of course nobody knows of. You've done all that. Now, what about the clients? Again, you won't go through conventional hiring. You don't wanna be one of the thirsty hundreds who apply for jobs and accept low pay as a compromise. You're a hacker, so act like one. You will be adding value in Discord conversations, Twitter feeds, as well as LinkedIn posts. You will contribute to open projects and causes for the good of all of us. And while you're doing this, you are identifying key people that could facilitate a business relationship, a pen test contract, or an AppSec project and start naturally interacting with these people. More often than not, opportunities are going to present themselves sooner rather than later. But don't just go and spam people and act needy like a dog for a bone. That's very unprofessional and it puts people off. I've told you more than enough. Now go away.